What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Catalepsy, entitled Gravenous Hour. This is released on Unique Leader Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they're based out of Moscow, Russia, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very groove-laden, sci-fi-themed, technical style of brutal death metal. Uh, yeah. Lots of bands like to take their sounds to completely different and new levels. And I feel with a band like Catalepsy, they did just that a couple of years ago with their album Autopsychosis. Basically, a brand new lineup, a brand new vocalist, a new sort of shift change for them. Because prior to that release, this band was pretty much a straight up meat and potatoes brutal death metal band. From the lyrics, to the vocals, to the sheer rawness of things, with releases like Music Brings Injuries and Triumph of Evolution. Just some straight up traditional brutal death metal, but it was still very awesome to listen to. I don't think they were really trying to reinvent the wheel with releases like that, but I still feel they were very awesome to listen to. But going back now to Autopsychosis, we get this brand new inclination of the band. Much more gro groove riff orientated, um, a little bit of a cleaner production, a little bit more of a modern presentation. It was something that took a little while to get used to, but I felt that Autopsychosis was a fun little romp. I really enjoyed what they were going for with that record, and I was just curious to know what they were going to be doing next with their sound. And lo and behold, here we are with um, their brand new album, Gravenous Hour. It's 11 tracks, and it clocks in at around 40 minutes in length, and I feel that this picks up right where Autopsychosis left off. Uh, starts Things start off very smoothly, and then from then on there you get thrown straight into the brutality. And that's what I feel Catalepsy are going for with this brand new release. Pretty much, it's more of the same. If you're familiar with how things sounded on the, on the last record, you're going to get a lot of that in, in plenty of bits and spurts here with Gravenous Hour. And you can tell that this is a band that knows exactly what it's setting out to accomplish when it comes to the music and overall presentations. Um... Lots and lots of heavy, groovy riffs to be found throughout this entire release. I mean, you hear it on tracks like Blinded Sultan, uh, The Long Bright Darkness. Just very intelligently thought-out guitar playing. Uh, I, I mentioned that this band has more of an emphasis on groovier sort of riffs, uh, as it was evidenced on Out of Psychosis. And here on Gravenous Hour, you get that sort of guitar playing style going on forward. And I think it, that kind of style works for them. I think it, it, it I think these riffs bring out the very best of this sort of release and I think it's it's pretty fun to listen to. Uh, I like I like I like I like the sort of gamesmanship that you get when you listen to these guitars. As soon as every song starts, as soon as you get to more heavier, slammier sort of parts on this record, and they do show up in bits and spurts. And when they do, they they get the job done. And I think these these guitar riffs sound fantastic. Um the bass tone is very crystal clear on this re on this release. You can hear it very nicely. It's played very well. It's very suiting s suiting for the guitar playing that's being done on a release like this. Um, it, it sounds awesome. It's it's just as technical as the guitar playing that's being done on here, but it doesn't try to feel showboatish or anything like that. It serves its purpose well here here on this album, and I think this bass guitar sounds wonderful. Um, when it comes to the drumming. Uh, of course, the drumming was a lot, a little on the technical and elaborate side on the previous release, and here on Gravenous Hour, the drumming maintains a really solid pace throughout. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis on fills and blast beats, a lot of, a lot of intelligence being presented with this drum performance. It, you know what you're going to get yourself into with a release like this, and I think this drummer has a really solid mindset of putting out a nice drum performance. Uh, it doesn't try to feel like blasting for the sake of blasting. There's there's good moments where the the drumming begins to settle down just a little bit, and then once the aggression starts to kick in, that's where you get the full on beast moments of this drummer of this drummer's performance. And I think he de he delivers a very good job here. 
And uh, when it comes to the vocals, it's pretty much a similar vocal performance to the last time this the last time around. The vocals are very well worded and enunciated. I mean, not really ultra guttural like it used to be. This guy, I think he's also in a band called Big End Bolt. Really awesome brutal death metal from Russia as well. But I think with Catalepsy, he does things up a little bit differently here. And I think he does his vocal style very well here. Uh, once again, going back to the overall themes and concepts of this of this current state of Catalepsy. Uh, I think it, 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 it works out very well here, and I think his vocals are aw awesome to listen to. I think he does a very good vocal performance, uh, very much intact with the musicianship being done here. Uh, he really commands your attention throughout, and uh, we've some pretty good stories to tell. So uh, overall, I think this is an enjoyable piece of brutal death metal. I don't know if I like this as much as I did Auto Psychosis, but I think Catalepsy do something a little different here with Gravenous Hour. It's, like I said, it's more of the same, but I think they play it very well. I think it's a very solid release, and if you're into Russian brutal death metal or just brutal death metal in general, you'll find something to enjoy with Catalepsy. There is a lot of fun to be had with this release. So, if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say Blinded Sultan, uh, Critical Black Mass, uh, Monastery of Nothing, and uh, Grave New World. Those are some highlights for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Unique Leader Bandcamp page where you can stream this album in its entirety. Hear it for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it, buy it digitally, and it is also available physically as a CD and 12-inch vinyl. I will leave you respective links to it where you want to purchase a physical copy, uh, regardless of what uh, physical copy best suits you. So... Again, the album is Gravenous Hour by Catalepsy. This is released on Unique Leader Records. Go check this out if you want. And for a score, I'm going to give this a pretty solid 8 out of 10. Very fun little romp. Um, uh, yeah, so if you've happened to have heard this album, let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it and how you feel it compares to the previous Catalepsy release. Are any of you guys into Catalepsy? Do you prefer their old stuff, their new stuff, everything? Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Hope out.